morning, this is Jennifer with the Ark of Pennsylvania for our story time. So today, I have Rihanna with me because we're going to read a story and then we're going to um, we're going to show you a couple things just to kind of make it a little more exciting today. Um, so we are going to read a book that I had bought for Rihanna when she was little. I don't even remember how old you are. How old are you now? Twelve. I don't, I don't, I don't know um, how old I was. I don't remember either. It's called Special Shoes by Molly Taylor. Molly! <laughs> Molly. Okay. Shh. Molly of Denali. Yes, we like to watch Molly of Denali. It's okay. All right, so but we're going to we're going to listen to this right now, okay? Molly. All right, so before we get started cuz I want to give people a chance to get on, I'm just going to read the back. Emma is a young girl who loves a famous story about a princess with Emma. special shoes. Mm. Emma's mother reads her the story every night, and it's just what Emma needs to meet the challenges of her day. In Special Shoes, you will learn about the challenges Emma and other children like her face. You'll see why tasks most of us take for granted can be very difficult for some, and why every little girl, regardless of circumstances, deserves to feel like a princess. All right, you feel like a princess? Yep. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Molly. All right, so we're going to get started. Molly. All right, I'm going to read Molly. it, and then I'm going to turn the page so that they can see, okay? Is this Molly? No, this this is no, Emma. And who else? And her mommy. Okay, listen. Every night, Emma's mother would tuck her into bed at the end of each day, and she would say, Mama, will you read me the book about the princess and her special shoes? And every night, her mother did. She would read her a story about a special shoe that fit a special princess, and always at the end of the book it would read, and the princess with the special shoes lived happily ever after. At the end of the book that night, the same as every night, Emma told her mother, that's my favorite story. <laughs> I'm gonna read. The next morning, Emma started her day getting ready by putting on her splints, which wasn't easy or what, very fun, and they school? started picking out her clothes for school. What is so, um, they're braces. So we call them braces or we call them daffos, but in this book they call them splints. That was a good question. I'm going to go like this so other people can see the book too. Well, can I show the picture then? Good. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Let me read it first. Just like every day, she brought a walker to help her get inside her school and to her class. Everyone greeted Emma at school. She loved it. Hold on, we'll do that in a minute. They would say, hey, Emma, and way to go, Emma. Her favorite was hearing them say, look at Emma go. Each day was a little harder for Emma than other kids at school. But, but, they, can't, but they can't do it because the book is all taped up. <laughs> Some kids thought her canes were cool and asked a lot canes. of questions. And what other kids thought she was different. What are canes? I'll tell you in a minute. Playtime was fun some days, and on other days, playtime was difficult and not that exciting. Crutches? So, yes, we call them crutches. They call them canes. One day, Emma started to get brave. At birthday parties, she would start to climb water slides. At the playground, she would try her best to climb up the ladders. Sometimes Emma would get scared, but that afternoon she remembered what her mother told her, and she didn't give up. But, the gray thing is. All right, we'll talk about that in a minute. What's the gray thing? That afternoon, on a trip to the shoe store, Emma wished for slip-on rubber shoes like the kind her brother, Houston, would wear when he zoomed around the house, but she couldn't get them. Her mama said, Emma, you are doing so great, and one day you will get to wear those shoes. Just don't give up. You are so special. This made Emma sad, but she knew that her mama was right and that it would happen one day. Hello, this is <laughs> Later that night when they got home, she had a family friend come visit her. Emma had lots of friends who loved her. Nights like this were her absolute favorite. 
Emma said, Hey, Mrs. Molly, look at me. Hey, Mrs. Molly. Emmy walked from <laughs> one end of the kitchen to the other in her splints all by herself. Can you sit up and, and show this? Let that go, Ned. Shh. It's going to get red tonight. Her brother said, Look what Emma can do. This made her so happy. She knew everyone was so proud of her. When her friend left that night, her mama said, Emma, it's bedtime. You and Houston need to get ready for bed. Who's Houston? Her brother. Hi, Mommy. After her mom put her into bed, she asked her mother, Mama, please read me the book about the princess with the special shoes again. Her mother started reading the book. She read about the beautiful princess and her special shoes, and when she was done, Emma realized something very important. She said, Mama, you know what? I am a princess, and I have special shoes, too. Her mother leaned down and kissed Emma's cheek and said, You are a princess with special shoes, Emma, and you are my favorite story. Emma replied, I'm my favorite story, too. Dun, 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 dun. I like that story. It's a nice story, right? Yeah. All right. So, um, we will wait and see if we have any questions, but we thought while we were waiting, we would show you a couple things and talk about some things in the book. Just hold on a second. All right. It's a little disoriented here because we're all still working from home, so they hear my husband in the other room working and getting phone calls. <laughs> all right. Sit down. So, so what is this? My brace. <laughs> it's a brace, right? So let's let's show them the brace. Can we? Can I see it? Are you wearing braces right now? Yeah. What is on this brace? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Butterfly. Butterflies. So they get them, and they have them all different kinds. You can get. <coughs> Sports teams, sports teams, yeah, ladybugs, princesses. So she has hers on right now. We're not going to take them off, but she puts this is an old one when she was younger. But she puts this on her foot, the inside part, right? And then we slide this over, right? We have a little chip, but I don't know what I did with it. That goes on so she doesn't get pinched. And then we velcro over her foot like this. And this one has leopard prints on it, right? We, we picked, or actually, we thought they were giraffes, so we went with it. Giraffe, and we go over your, the top of your leg, what right? Is, what is mine? Do you like to wear these shoes? No. No? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to keep it because I don't want you to pull it. Yeah, and then it has a hinge in the back to help us walk, right? What is it? What does my pattern have on it? You have butterflies again. No, butterflies. Um, what does... My pattern has on it, my strap. They're all just pink. They're all just pink. And so also Emma, so Emma had these, um, we call them, um, I forgot, braces. <laughs> or Dafos, which is the brand. So now we also have a walker, don't we? Yep. So this is Rhiannon's walker. It kind of looks like the one in the picture, right? Which one? Um, in the picture that Emma was using. What color? Silver. So, but before we get up and, and talk about your walker, I thought we'd show them these. So these are, what are these? Crutches! Crutches! Yes, let's not do that. <laughs> so we are getting, here, give me these. We haven't started these yet. We just got them before we all were made to stay home. So when we get to go out again, we are going to get back to physical therapy and work on using the crutches. But this is what the crutch looks like. And it's, um, it goes over her arm, so if she's not doing anything, she can still hold on to her, her, her crutch, right? Yeah. So, and they're a pretty little pink color, right? So, why don't you show the people how we get in our walker? There's no people. There, oh, I think there are. Are there people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, get them. One. Come on, let's show them how we do the walker. One. Right now. Where do I want to walk? Just stand up first, and then we'll have you turn around, and you don't have to go far. There you go. There you go. Okay, just turn around for everybody. There you go. So this is Rhiannon and her walker, right? Okay. You want to sit down? She has a special seat right there. There you go. You can sit down. So does anybody have any questions for us? Not really. Not really. 
<laughs> All right. Well, then we'll end it for today, and we will see you next Friday. Thank you. Can you say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Happy birthday.